What do you think is the difference between a word written on a fence and the complete works of Leo Tolstoy? Well, believe it or not, there's practically no difference. That is, if it's written in the SHA-256 algorithm and it's happening on the blockchain. Why is this necessary? Well, of course, to understand how the blockchain works. Just like in the Cinderella fairy tale where a pumpkin turned into a carriage, in the blockchain, everything turns into a hash code. This hash code is 64 characters long in the SHA-256 algorithm. Absolutely no difference in what forms a block, but every block has its own hash code. For example, this is what the hash code looks like for a word you know all too well, written on a fence. And this is what the hash code looks like for the three volumes of War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Admit it, for the average person, there's no difference at all. Only Mia would be able to spot Natasha Rostova in a red dress at the ball here. Interestingly, if even a single character or word in this endless novel changes, it will result in a completely different hash code. Each block has its own hash code, but this hash code contains the code of another, the previous block. That's why if you suddenly want to alter the data of a previous block, it will break the chain. And it would also require enormous computing power, which would suddenly have to process uh, incredible chains of information. Well, you could say that blockchain is literally protected by the laws of mathematics. And where there's mathematics, there are numbers, and someone is already counting money. This sequence of SHA-256, the hash, and the entire blockchain allows us to safely transfer money from one account to another, transfer copyrights for works, for example, and do many other things we've discussed before and will talk about further. Subscribe to Tontrader to finally understand blockchain once and for all. And where there's more understanding, there are more wins in the crypto market.